Welcome to New Media Patriot Radio, the show about you, the concerned citizen, the silent majority, the politically incorrect, the social media patriot fighting every single day to restore American values and exceptionalism. You can follow me on Twitter at the Patriot 143 or on our show Twitter at NMP Radio. It stands for New Media Patriot Radio. Also, we are being uh, syndicated on the new home of Internet Conservative Talk Radio. That is ICRN. That is conservativeradionetwork.com. Check them out. Uh, They have a bunch of other great shows on that network. I want to thank them for syndicating my show. Also, if you want to be a guest on this show and you want to get your voice heard, you can simply email us at newmediapatriot at gmail.com. Also, visit our website for all the latest news and all the past shows. All, all my shows are archived on there. You can visit us at newmediapatriotradio.com. And we are actively looking for bloggers. If you are a political blogger and you're looking for some exposure uh, with uh, some of your write-ups, email us, again, at newmediapatriot at gmail.com. And you can uh, follow us, please, if you can follow us on Spreaker, on iTunes, and also on SoundCloud. We are all over the place. Uh, again, if, if you want to take us on the go, you don't necessarily have to listen to us live, but you can if you want, and you can actually call in now. And the uh, that number is 347-338-1775. Again, the number is 347-338-1775. So, it, today's an exciting day because it, it's obviously, it's super, it is a super Tuesday and there's a lot going on. But before we get to all that and uh, we, we get, before we get to my, to, to tonight's guest, um, I just got to go on a little rant here. Um, you have the, the, uh, the, the, the GOP is finally fighting back and this is so funny because all of a sudden, they are pulling all the stops. Who are, they, who are they turning their guns on? Is it the Democrats? No. It's the GOP frontrunner, Donald Trump. Just like they did in Mississippi in 2014 when, uh, when uh, they went against Chris McDaniels. So again, welcome to the silent majority here on New Media Patriot Radio. This is our Super Tuesday special, as I stated before, and I am your host, Chris, and our number again is 347-338-1775. So let me go on, you know, after seven years of hearing the majority in both houses, the GOP majority in both houses telling us, what do you want us to do? Whenever, whenever Obama, uh, you know, went on one of his executive actions or his, uh, you know, um, his his uh, basically treasonous uh, uh, rampage. Um, that's what the GOP majority told us. What do you want us to do? And now all of a sudden, they want to put their tough guy outfit or their tough guy costume on and fight like hell against their against the the the, the leading Republican candidate, Donald Trump. And you know why? You know why they're doing this? They're seeing their cushy business as usual apparatus crumbling. And they see it as a threat to their institutional status. The GOP is basically, this is what they're doing by doing this. They're basically telling the American people that they're, they, they, they're going to pull out all the stops to block a Trump nomination. Especially after telling us that they couldn't pull out all the stops to stop Obama. Let that sink in for a bit. They did nothing. For seven years, they've done nothing. They've done absolutely nothing. Imagine if they fought this hard at combating combating, uh, Obamacare or the EPA regulations or TPA or TPP. Or again, Obama's executive amnesties. Imagine how better off we would be as a nation. And I bet you that we wouldn't be talking about Donald Trump. Republicans are playing into the hands of the Democrats. The GOP is basically aiding and abetting the Clinton machine. Where was the GOP when Mitt Romney was running for president? 
They refuse to bring up Obama's controversial connections with groups such as the Black Panther Party, the Weather Underground, the Radical Church where uh, Reverend Wright, uh, Reverend Wright uh, uh, was the pastor or the minister or whatever you want to call him, or his connection with Frank Marshall Davis, the communist. Ladies and gentlemen, they were nowhere to be found. They said, we're going to beat him on, we're going to beat him on policy instead because they were so afraid of what the mainstream media was going to say about them or, the, or, or, or what the racist undertones of bringing, you know, such radical connections, you know, uh, bringing them up would bring on the party. They were so afraid of themselves. What, what did they do? They stuck their tails between their legs. Well, guess what? They lost for two reasons. Low voter turnout from the Republican base and Obama doing what he does best, playing the race card. So let me take a breather because that was a, that was a pretty uh, long rant there. I just had to get that out. I mean, I was, I was festering this inside. I was thinking it out all day and I just had to get it out. So, so on tonight's show, we're going to talk about the, uh, th- these leftist tactics that the GOP establishment will attempt to use against Trump if he wins big tonight on Super Tuesday. So with that being said, let's welcome in my guests for tonight, uh, my two guests actually. I want to welcome in uh, Christina Layla and Cambry Nelson. How are you ladies? How are you ladies? Great, how are you doing? Good, good, good. Well, you know, Christina, you, you were on a previous show, and so was uh, Cambry. I want to I want to thank you guys for coming back on. And let me tell you, it was it was it was two of the the highest rated shows, and I wanted to have you guys back on, you ladies back on. I keep saying guys, I'm so used. To, please don't take it personal if I call you guys, okay? You promise? <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> okay. You promise? Promise. I'm totally fine with it. <laughs> oh, okay. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so, ladies, what do you think about what's going on right now? Uh, you know, today's Super Tuesday, but but. Was I pretty much, did I hit every point on that opening? Christina. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, where Where were these people when Obama was running in back with the back to I can't hear. It's, uh, he's a virtual unknown who was foisted onto the American people, and there was no vetting. They wouldn't even bring up his radical associations with the weather underground, with right. uh, the church he sat in, where... Uh, if you, I don't even want to call him a pastor, but the leader of the church was a radical black uh, theology Marxist. Right. Where, like you said, where where were these people mm-hmm. attacking um, Obama back in two thousand eight? Right. right. And now they're they're attacking one of their own. They don't even see Donald Trump as a Republican. They see him as a bigger threat <laughs> than uh, these other people who are true radicals. Yeah. Um, it, yeah. Indeed. Without a doubt. Uh, you know, Cambry. Um, I, I sent I sent out I sent you ladies an article regarding um, regarding what happened, and I mentioned it in my opening in Mississippi in 2014, where there and and again I you know I say this all the time, the KKK and his racism crap comes up every election cycle. The difference is that you really never see it, you never see it from the same team. For instance, the GOP is attacking their front runner. With the KKK agenda, have you ever seen anything like that, Cambry? No, I mean I've I've honestly I'm 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 a young one. I can call myself a political baby, <laughs> but I've never seen anything like this. And from what I've seen and from what I've researched, you know, apparently this is not anything new. The the difference is is that now we have social media that can expose everything that's going on. Right. I mean, apparently this is a tactic that they move, like you said earlier, and you know, whenever they were starting this. When they're about McDaniel, McDaniel, um, they it, this is an all-out war with the GOP. They did this. They they are going to do everything they possibly can. It's the biggest smear campaign. They don't care who wins this election. All they want to do is make sure that the big establishment donors are taken care of. Right. They'll pull out the race card. They're going to pay for print ads. They're going to do broadcast ads. They're going to ask you know pastors. They're going to pay Democrats off. They're going to get preachers to go out there. And basically, they, they just want voters to, to vote in the runoff election. I mean, what's happening is the Republicans in, in, in Washington, D.C. right now is, is using every dirty trick at their disposal to take down Donald Trump. What they don't realize is that Donald Trump has a Trump train behind him. Mm-hmm. 
they have a Trump train behind him. So everything that they do, we actually expose. And so this actually has worked previously. And I think they're just desperate, especially after coming out of South Carolina with a victory, coming out of um, Nevada with a victory. And now today is Super Tuesday. And the numbers are coming in. Donald Trump just won Georgia. There's one state, you know, in the in the box for Donald Trump. I just saw that. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, the D.C. establishment Republicans, basically, they have a team that they've enlisted together. The same people that went after McDaniel years and years ago. And they're running this huge super nuclear attack approach against Donald Trump for their own benefit. And um, I mean, it's it's crazy because um, a lot of stuff coming after, you know, Hillary Clinton. I mean, she's she's got stuff where she's talked about a hero being an, an ex AK guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could go rounds and rounds, but the difference is, is like you said, it's a war between the GOP within the GOP. They're not going after the Democrats because it's as you disgusting. can see all over social media, everything about KKK and, and Hillary Clinton, but they failed to mention that as well. Let's talk about uh, Christina. Christina, what do you have to say about that? About the uh, mm -hmm. about the the the. You know, they're basically using the same characters. It's the same characters, and, and they're and they're not hiding it. I mean, they're they're saying they're basically showing mm -hmm. their they're showing their hand as to what's going to happen. They're not hiding it, and I think that's why um, they're just said, you know what, screw it. You know, they they're they're ready to lose. They're ready to lose to Hillary just to keep everything business as usual in Washington. So, Christina, what do you what do you think about these same characters? Uh, the, the same characters are basically the attack dogs. These people that have made a career um, and, and have made millions of dollars uh, being these attack dogs for the GOP establishment. How do you feel about that as as a voter? Yeah, well, it's shameful, and to see these uh, attacks on Donald Trump, so trying to align him with a a man who uttered his name, and he never even got endorsed by the guy. The man was supposedly in the, the Klan, I guess, 40 years ago, and Donald Trump doesn't even know the guy personally. And mm -hmm. I pointed this out the other day. When Al Gore ran for president in 2000, nobody brought up his father, who was, uh, led the longest filibuster in history to block the 1964 Civil Rights Act. His mm -hmm. father was a known racist. Uh, several uh, reports have said that he was also a member of the KKK. Mm -hmm. And uh, where, where were these same people of course, you can only be a white racist if you're a Republican. Right. And uh, he he didn't have to answer anybody. These are just the same. These are leftist tax tactics, mm -hmm. and these people should be ashamed of themselves. It's really, it's disgusting what's going on. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, I mentioned this on last night's show. The the, the uh, I think it was the Washington Post or one of those uh, rags. Uh, basically, they uh, they come up with this. Uh, they, they revisit a nineteen uh, nineteen twenty seven article where it says Fred Trump was arrested at a KKK rally. And if you read the article, it gives it gives it gives mention of the people that were arrested and released on bail. And when it comes to Fred Trump, it says he was discharged. And, you know, knowing friends in law enforcement, they tell me that being discharged basically means that he had nothing to do with what was going on and he was let go. And he was released on his own recognizance because he did nothing. And back then, back then, they used to round everybody up. You know what I mean? They didn't play. The cops didn't play back then. They used to round everybody up, put you in a paddy wagon, and take you to the station house. Um, but but they're running with this. They're, they're revisiting the same, the same, uh, you know, uh, uh, controversial, quote unquote, controversial, um, you know, articles on on on, uh, on his father. Mm -hmm. Tell us about uh, tell mm -hmm. us about that, Cammy. What do you think mm -hmm. about that? You know, I mean, they're openly admitting that they're doing this. I mean, we have two gentlemen that are spearheading this, and um, they're actually Stuart Stevens and Henry Barber. They're part of the team, and they actually carried out the Mississippi, you know, strategy. But they openly admitted what their intent is. Yeah. They're, they openly admitted that their level of intent is to remove Donald Trump first with the, on the level of being a racist. So, you know, they're, they're openly, you know, saying, telling the people, this is our strategy. This is what we are going to do to take him down. To me, if you're going to fight, you got to learn how to fight. That's not how you fight because they're telling everybody what their agenda is, and that's exactly what Donald Trump says. You never let anybody know what your agenda is. But, um, I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. And we know that when we watch television and mainstream television, um, mainstream TV, they're only